Hey guys, so today I'll be reacting to a song from the new Bruce Dickinson album called Rain on the Grave. So I literally just found out about this, this is probably last month. I think the album came out on March 1st. I haven't heard any of the songs off of the new album. It's called The Mandrake Project. I will admit, I, I do like Iron Maiden, um, I mean they're a classic metal band. I never got huge into them like a lot of people did, like they weren't one of my like top 10 metal bands, but I do really like their music, I appreciate their music, and I loved Bruce Dickinson's vocals. And I back in the 90s, I think when it came out, was the um, album Balls to Picasso. I loved that album. There was just something about it, it was... I just like I loved like literally like every song on that album. Tears of the Dragon was probably like one of my favorite songs back then. It still is one of my favorite songs. It's, it's an amazing song. So I was really surprised that he came out with a new album. They said it was it's like they said it's been 20 years since he's come out with an album. And I will admit I didn't keep track of him over the years as far as like his you know music career and what he was doing and stuff but I always held like a special place in my heart for the Balls to Picasso album it was just I just it's I just had fond memories of it you know you know growing up back in like when did it come out um, 90s like early 2000s um, I'm really bad with dates so don't quote me on that one but I was super excited to hear he came out with a new album so I figured I'd react to it today with you guys and see how it sounds. Like I said, I haven't heard it before, so let's give it a go. Quince's robes and beggar's rags are the toadstools of the miser's bags. A truth that's told with bad intent beat all the lies you can invent. William Blake. Never heard of it. Ooh, I like this. looks spooky. This looks really cool. Like all black and white and stuff. This is awesome. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bruce Dickinson is the preacher. Tim Cartwright is the devil. And introducing the house band of hell. This looks really nice. I already like like the imagery and the atmosphere and stuff so cool. Churchyard, I came across a man. He smiled and slowly oh, he looks awesome. with a trembling hand. Did you come to gamble? Huh? Did you come to pray? What's the meaning of your business here on a stormy day? The raindrops spotted on the tomb from gray and leaden skies. Deny me once, deny me twice. Don't look in my eyes. Oh, this is nice. I like this part. His voice is so good. I just love the, the sound of it. He like sounds like no other. He looks amazing. I love his whole outfit and his look. He's not much that goth stuff. This is so cool. I really like this song. Like it has vibes of like 
the Balls of Picasso album, but like a little, you know, it has like a, like a new feel to it as well. It's like, I don't know, like heavier. The whole band looks awesome in their whole getup. I mean, is that really stand-up bass that's being played in the song, or is it just for, like, theatrical stuff? That's pretty cool. I am the god of sinners, you are what I have made. You're talking to your likeness, and my shadow is your shade. Stand up and face the mirror, it's the image that you crave. But I'll be here when you're long gone, I'll see you in that grave. Like, oh, it's awesome. <laughs> but it's like a comical, like as well. Like it's not like totally serious. <laughs> he always seemed like a kind, a bit of a a jokester to me. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. So this is 7 minutes 34 seconds. We got another minute and 34 seconds. I don't know what. Oh, just the end? Like the credits? A musical horror short written by Bruce Dickinson. THE Bruce Dickinson. <laughs> that was really cool. It's like, um... Oh my god, that's really, like the art, the art and stuff was cool too, with like these witches around the fire and stuff, I really like that. It is like a, like a, like a little short movie. Um, I'm not gonna go through the, it's like a while, it's just credits, I skim through and it's just like some credits at the end. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I like that. Look at these pictures, they're so nice, this, this, these drawings are awesome, I really like this. Wow. Okay, Bruce. Okay, so I figured we would uh, talk about the video and my thoughts on it. So I thought the the way it was filmed was really cool, like the little short movie. I like how it was black and white. I like how he was dressed. I like how the, the band members were dressed. I just like the um, like eeriness of it. I thought it was really cool. So like that was just like a bonus. And then as far as the song, I actually really liked it. Like I said, it reminded me of like the older album, Balls to Picasso, like song, it's like it could be a song off of that album, but like had like a little bit more of, I want to say like a gothic-y type sound to it, like not just like metal, and like I really like like the dark like gothic type music or goth music, so I thought it was really cool. I'm really looking forward to checking out the rest of the album. I Like I said, I hadn't, hadn't listened to any of it at all. And I'm definitely going to check it out. I usually stream stuff um, on Spotify when I'm driving. So next time I get in the car, that's 
that album, The Mandrake Project, is definitely going to be on. So let me know what you guys thought about this song. If you're a Bruce Dickinson fan or more of an Iron Maiden fan than his solo stuff. And yeah, if you haven't already, please think about subscribing to my channel. I love having new people here. I always talk about like either goth music or metal music or I try to, you know, like surround myself with some sort of like spooky or creepy or macabre type of thing. Uh, I do travel vlogs um, to cool places like cemeteries or ruins or crypts and stuff like that. Um, so I kind of cover like all the bases. So yeah, check out my other social medias like my Instagram, my Twitter, and my TikTok. I sometimes go live on TikTok so you might enjoy that. So until next time, stay dark my friends and I'll talk to you guys later. I'm